Hi, I'm Paul Huddlestone and this is the second in a series of short videos introducing the RFX Com plugin for Home Seer 3. In this video I'm going to have a look at input devices, what they are and how to uh, add them into Home Seer. So, we go from uh, the main plugin menu to input devices. As you can see I haven't currently got any input devices configured. Um, what the plugin is doing in the background, any devices that to, it receives and understands. It adds them to a list here of heard sensors. Um, and you can see on my system there's quite a number of different types of devices here. Now if you're making the transition from the HS2 version of the plugin to this version it'll be somewhat easier um, because you'll already have the devices in set up in HS2 so you can identify which address here applies to which device and add them that way. Now on my system I've got some RFX meter devices here and I'm going to have a look at those first because they're a little bit different to other types of devices and I happen to know that this RFX meter device here with the address 240 is connected to an RFX power module. So we'll go ahead and click on the device we want to add and we're taken to the main home seer device configuration screen where we can add a name for the device. Now for RFX meter devices the naming is important if you want to later use them with virtual devices which we'll cover in the next video. But I'll explain the naming convention here. Now if the device is connected to an RFX power module it needs to be named RFX PWR and it is case sensitive. If you've got your RFX meter connected to a pulse module for example for monitoring water consumption then the device needs to be named RFX water and if you're using it um, for gas consumption monitoring it needs to be named RFX gas for this particular device is monitoring electricity so I'll name it RFX PWR okay I'm going to leave the floor at the default RFX com and I'm going to add a new room and call it utilities um, just so I can keep all utilities related devices together now you can add a house code and unit code if you wish although it's not necessary and the remaining options here are just standard um, home seer options as you'll see for most other types of devices now on this screen you can add an image for the device you know, I've got an image, um, I think, for our effects meter. Okay, it's a useful reference if you come back to the device in future um, so you know exactly what type of device it is. Now, along the top here, we've got an additional RFX COM tab for our uh, extra device configuration options sensor ID and type of device listed here. The suffix. Now, this particular device is connected to our uh, RFX power module for electricity monitoring. So, I'm going to change the suffix to kilowatt hours. And the calibration value, what this does, if for example you're uh, monitoring electricity and the utility meter already has a reading of say 2000 and you're installing a new RFX meter which is going to start at zero. And you can add a calibration value of 2000 here, for example. Um, and what that'll do is allow the plugin to add the 2000 to the value that it reads from the RFX meter, therefore keeping the utility meter and the home seer device synchronized. For the purpose of this video, though, I'm going to leave that at zero. And the divide by um, box here. What this does is divides the, you set a value here to divide the uh, received value by prior to display. So the RFX PWR module that I have actually um, counts in one watt increments, but I want to display in kilowatt hours. So what I'm going to do is enter a value of 1000 here so that the received value from the RFX meter is divided by 1000 effectively converted to kilowatt hours before being displayed. 
we can select a show icon the plugin comes with a default set of icons um, which are displayed alongside the, the status text in the main device view although you can um, create your own icons um, and assign those to various values which we'll have a look at in a later video for the time being we'll select the default icon come failure timeout if the plugin doesn't hear from this device for 170 minutes or more in this case then it will set the device to a uh, status of communication failure which will just allow you to um, be notified if a device is no longer being received etc so once we're done with the configuration there click save and you can see the device has been added here at the bottom now initially the device will display with the default um, value um, it won't use the divide by and it will uh, display the default text of units now once the device has received an update it will uh, apply the graphics um, the divider value that we entered and change to whatever suffix we added so that's an RFX meter device uh, there we go the uh, device is now updated with the correct values so we'll have a look um, at a couple of other types of input devices although it's worth knowing something about the type of device that you're trying to add and then you'll have some idea of what values you're expecting to receive from it um, in the video is more going through the procedure of actually adding the devices than uh, trying to explain each different type of device and uh, how its values are interpreted etc so I'll have a look at a um, Oregon scientific um, temperature humidity sensor here now what the, the plugin will see this is three devices although it's one physical device you'll have a, a temperature sensor battery status device and humidity sensor so I'll go ahead and add the, the temperature sensor so I'll just call this temperature okay I'll leave the uh, Florida RFX com no I don't know what this um, device address relates to which physical device it relates to but for the purpose of the video I'll assume it's kitchen and add that room again standard home seer configuration options here we can select a device image if we want to um, I've got an image for the Oregon device I think here yeah okay and then again across to the RFX com tab for additional configuration options now in the first video I set the uh, metric option on for my system so the plugins configured this device for degrees Celsius automatically calibration value will be left at 0 and 1 for this particular device high and low alarm and warning options can be set here although we'll maybe have a look at those in a later video but basically what they do if you set 25 in there for example if this particular device goes above the 25 degrees um, the plugin can uh, send various messages and change the status text um, to a uh, different background color etc so again we'll choose the default uh, RFX come icon for this device and the standard communication failure timeout for this particular type of device is 60 minutes so I'm going to save that device and you can see it's been added at the top here um, so we'll have a look at the other two devices that relate to that uh, physical sensor so we'll go ahead and add the, the humidity sensor I'll just call that humidity um, again I'll choose kitchen because it's the same physical device leaving the house good and unit codes empty not setting any of the other options here again we can select the same device image because it is physically the same device um, so that's the Oregon um, device go to the RFXCOM tab for additional options you can see the plugins automatically configured the suffixes percent relative humidity calibration zero divided by one again I can leave the alarm uh, and warning values empty if I don't want to use them show icon and save 
Okay, and the humidity device is added. And just uh, so we can have a look at battery devices on input sensors, I'll add the uh, battery sensor that also relates to that physical device, which is here. Okay, so I'll just call that uh, kitchen th battery. Okay, now you could, for example, add a, a new room there just for battery sensors if you want to keep all the battery devices together in one place. Well, I'll just select kitchen again, leaving um, house code and unit code empty. Now, because we selected hide devices dynamically when we initially configured the plugin, the plugin's automatically selected to hide this device from view. Now this device will be hidden unless it displays a low battery condition um, in homes here. Okay, you can select a, a device image again if you wish, and then across to the RFX Comp tab for additional options for this device. Again, we can choose to show the icon, and we've got battery life and battery replace date here. This is the anticipated days that uh, of battery life that you expect. So. For example, we could set 200 days that we expect the Oregon device um, batteries to last for. And we can choose a date that we change the batteries and save. And then the battery device is added there. Now if we click on this device again and go back to the RFX Comp tab, you can see now how this works. I can tell you it's calculated how many days the um, devices had the batteries in from the, the replaced date to today's date. Okay, so that's pretty much it for adding input devices. As I said earlier, the uh, procedure for adding them can be different depending on what type of input devices you've got. So in the next video I'll have a look at um, virtual devices, what they are and how to create them. But for the time being, thanks for watching.